is up everybody? Welcome back to the Gunmetal Speedster YouTube channel. And now in today's video, we are going to touch base on something I believe I mentioned in my previous video. In front of me, I have two products. Uh, both of these companies have reached out and asked me to review uh, their products. This one is the one I mentioned in my previous video. It is Almax or OU Max. I'm, I apologize, I don't really know how to pronounce that. Uh, now this is a dash cam with a backup uh, camera included. Uh, this is the one that I have been I was sent actually uh, it's I've had it for quite some time now And I apologize. I can't get to that just yet because that requires a bit more of a installation than I uh, Know how to do I have to uh, wire it into the rear reverse lights. I don't really know how to do that I'm gonna need my dad's help um, and because of that uh, the time I have to do is very limited with it uh, I just have to find the perfect day. It's been you know super super ugly uh, in, in Ohio as of recently We just got out of like a two-week rain session It is actually really nice today Unfortunately, I don't have time to mess with this one though um, so that video is coming. I do apologize, but today's video is going to be on this one. This is called FinSins, and I believe his name is Andy. Andy is the CEO of FinSins. He reached out to me uh, on email, and he asked me to uh, just give you know an honest review of what I think of his uh, product here, and he sent it to me. Um, so basically what this is, is basically it's just a license plate frame, from my understanding, that uh, has parking sensors. I don't know how you can see it right here. There are two parking sensors on the, uh, the frame. This can be mounted in the front or the back, and it gives you the option in the app, uh, from my understanding, as you can see here. And basically it's just an app that works with both uh, Android and iOS for the iPhone that lets you know when you, uh, I think it's up to 10 feet, uh, start to come within a distance of something, so it helps you... Uh, part close to objects without actually rear-ending them. Now, I will be installing this on the Saab, not the Camaro. The Camaro already has backup uh, sensors on it and they are pretty good. So I feel like that is not only going to interfere with the uh, the test, but as well as anyone who may be considered purchasing the Vincens probably isn't going to put it on a vehicle that already has backup sensors, as that makes not much sense. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, get this hooked up on the Saab and then we'll crack open the directions. I'll read it through, make sure I kind of understand all the features and everything. And uh, we'll give it a test and uh, see what it's like. Before, look at that, it's like magic. Now, one thing to note is for one, this is very loose because uh, I don't know if Saab is weird, but there were only two of the screws that fit in the top threads and they're actually really long. That is as far as I can get them in without drilling into the back of the Saab. And uh, there's only, they only supply two of those. So I don't have any for the bottom two. So this is just gonna have to kind of hang out here for the duration of this review. Uh, it being this loose, I don't think it's going to mess uh, with the sensors or anything like that. Um, if it does, I apologize. But I guess you can only uh, you can only do so much with what you got. So we'll go ahead and get inside and set it up and see how it works. All right, so we are currently inside the car. The app is, actually I don't know how well you guys can see this, but it is updating uh, the tap button here. And what this is, is a nifty little uh, thing that just kind of attaches to the steering wheel and it's a quick connect. So you would, I'm not gonna tap it because it says not to do that during the uh, the update process. But you, you know, give it a tap and it will, uh, and make it much quicker on you. Also, uh, they give you a uh, self-supplied phone mount because you do need your phone to be uh, on and looking at it uh, in order to receive the notifications. That's how it warns you when you're getting close. Is there like an audible alert? I do believe. I haven't actually tested it out yet, so I don't know that far. That may change. I'll let you guys know if it does. But basically, it just plugs into your vent, and what it is, it's a magnet, and they supply a uh, adhesive magnet that would go onto the back of the phone, and then you'll be able to connect the phone just like that. Um, I am not going to do that for the demonstration here, but uh, should I, you know, decide that uh, this is a product worth keeping, which so far everything is seems great. It's very high quality. I really like what they're doing with it. Um, should I decide to keep it in the Saab, I'm not sure if I'm going to put it on Ali's, uh, Ali's uh, Mazda or not, uh, the MS3. But if I decide to keep it in the Saab, I'll go ahead and do that. If not, I'm not going to put a magnet on my phone. Uh, I'll just give it to her and let her do it. They do supply two magnets. One is circular, one is square. So I thought that might be uh, worth... Uh, mentioning and just to touch base on the app real quick because I do not know how long this is going to uh, take uh, Basically the app setup has been super super simple uh, so far Basically you start up the app it, uh, Automatically connects it connected really quickly to the uh, the license plate frame and it also detected that and connected Told me that there was a firmware update for it and that is what it is currently doing um, It asked you to measure how far away the backup sensor is from the rear of your car I think mine was four inches uh, I guess that helps, you know, determine accuracy and whatnot. Um, but yeah, everything so far has been super high quality. It's been super easy to set up and everything else. I am actually uh, quite pleased. Usually these products suck. Um, but so far, I'm pretty impressed. So I will go ahead and jump back in here as soon as this is done updating. It looks like it may take a while. So, as you can see, we are done updating. And now the two ways that uh, to get into the backup mode uh, are pretty simple. There's the little button down here that you can click and it brings up 
the uh, the rear view of the car. Uh, let you know that you know we're green up here. We're good. Everything's kosher. You're good to back up. Uh, and I have the audio on uh, pretty loud or whatever to notify me. And now, eh. sorry, my iPhone. The iPhone 10. I don't think think I put the uh, the screen protector on there. Kind of weird because nothing ever registers up in the top corner unless you hit it a thousand times. That's not Finson's fault. That's uh, either I put the screen protector on wrong or the iPhone 10 just sucks. Uh, for how much money I paid for it. But anyway, you should be able to just give this a good tap, and I think maybe you have to double tap it. But uh, it should bring you into the backup camera just by hitting this switch or whatever. It doesn't seem to be, there it goes, okay. So it'll do that, if that, you know, that, that works if you can't be bothered to touch the little corner for whatever reason. I mean, if you have to have the app open in order for this to work, um, I mean, it's pretty easy to click that. But for whatever reason, if you want to activate it, you can just go ahead and give it a click, and it'll bring you up to the uh, same thing. So now we're gonna go ahead and I wanna show you a walk around of what it's gonna do. Ah. So as you can see, we have the, I don't know how well you can see, I know the, the sun's probably pretty bright. Let me see if I can turn on my phone. Oh, phone brightness is actually already up, so. Okay, I can't see on the GoPro if you guys can see that or not. Hopefully you can, if not, uh, I'll try to describe what happens. So as we're walking behind it, it is noticing us, it's beeping. Now notice if I stand on just one side, it looks like, yeah, see, it's only showing this one side is being affected. Or let's see if we'll do it on this side. Yep, so now only this side is being affected. But now, as you can see, it's beeping. We'll go back, we'll go back, we're getting to the green, the yellow rather. And now you're green, you're good to go. As you start to come forward, it should start to detect, yep, right there. And of course there is probably a small delay. But as you get closer, the audio cues actually change when it's red. It's just going to stay beeping or whatever to let you know. The lines disappear the closer you get, so you know if you're down to one line, you better, you know, quit your crap, otherwise you're liable to run into something. But of course, that is just a walk around test. Now let's go ahead and see if it actually works. Alrighty, so we are now in the car. I apologize if my voice is very loud. The only way I could really rig the GoPro here uh, to set up is to hook it to my driver's side window. I tried to give you guys a view of the rear view mirror. I think I have that set up pretty good to where you can see the uh, the yellow pillars behind me. Not really pillars, I don't know what they are. The little weird yellow poles that protect like a, a fire hydrant or whatever, because that's what it is. It's protecting a fire hydrant in the middle of, a, of an empty lot. So this is how I did the test with the last backup camera that I reviewed. And you know, granted this isn't a backup camera, but it will, it should alert me, hopefully, because if not, then we're using the sub. It's going to take damage because I don't really care. I'm giving this a, a thorough test. So hopefully FinCens makes a good product. Otherwise, I'm going to back into something because um, I can't really see the uh, the rearview mirror. I have it tilted. So the uh, the GoPro should be able to see that. Uh, I'll have my phone get ready to activate it. Um, and now, obviously, FinCens does, can, uh, does not condone just using the sensor alone to back up. It tells you to always check your surroundings, be aware, don't rely on this as the sole method of backing up. I mean, obviously, I don't know anyone who would actually do that to begin with, but you know, uh, I guess uh, it needs to be said for stupid people out there. But anyway, so we will go ahead and uh, give it a test. I'm gonna go ahead and activate my FinCens app. Uh, let's see, it is loading. I am now good to back up, so we'll go ahead and throw it in reverse. And uh, I don't know, is this on the, can you see it? I think so. I'm going to try to hold it like that, hopefully you guys can see it. And then see when it starts to back up. So, I'm going slow. Should I, should I hit something? Oh, we're getting pretty close. Oh, oh, yep, see, it's working. Now, there was a, I was going a little quick there, and there was kind of a bit of devel a delay because it jumped from green straight to orange. Now, I was going a little bit fast. I mean, if you're backing up, uh, this is probably not the best thing, but I went ahead and muted that just so you don't have to hear it for, uh, for a second. But uh, yeah, so we're going to go ahead and back up a little bit farther and see what happens and how close it gets to the red. I am aware that there's a delay on this, uh, so I'm going to go super slow in case I do actually hit this, uh, especially since this has the airbag recall. It's that Technata airbag or whatever it is that apparently has like a grenade going off in your face. So I don't think the air the front airbag goes off if you get take a minor fender bender or, you know, a uh, small bumper damage. But should it, uh, hopefully I don't die over this. But Okay, so we'll go ahead and back up very slowly. We're entering the red. And basically, I don't foresee anyone uh, basically backing up past this, so I'm gonna go ahead and put this in park, and we're gonna take a look and see how close that the uh, the three red lines got me, or four red lines, rather. Sorry, can't count. Okay, so as you can see, it's still going off, and I mean, it's alerted me pretty pretty well. I mean, you know, it's got, you know, what, a good almost 
two and a half, three feet there. So, I mean, it did a pretty good job. And, you know, that's four red lines, so there, it's letting you know that there is still some more room that you can go. But overall, I'm actually uh, pretty impressed with this thing. So we are back at home here with the Fensons. And as you guys can see, that it did work uh, you know, pleasantly well. I'm actually really surprised. You know, products like this usually don't work very well. Um, uh, you know, from start to finish, this has been a, a pretty pleasant experience, I have to say. Um, you know, install was super easy. You basically just throw the batteries in, uh, download the app, connect it, turns it on. You know, it connects via Bluetooth, so it's super easy. It connected pretty quick. Um, update did take a little bit. Uh, I may just have a slow connection or something like that because I was sitting in the car, not right next to it. Um, but really, I can't really find a drawback to this system. I think uh, it does what it was built to do uh, very well. So, I mean, if I had to pick a drawback, just to be nitpicky, um, I would say it's the fact that you have to have the app open in order for it to work. Uh, it'd be cool if that little tap button that they give you that connects to the steering wheel, if you could click that and it would just automatically open the app for you. Um, I could see that being a little bit more convenient, uh, but I don't know. I'm not an app designer. I don't know how, uh, how doable that is, if at all. Um, so like I said, that's just me being nitpicky. If I had to choose something uh, to say to improve on, it would be that. And if that's not something that you can improve on or it's not uh, feasible, then you know it is what it is. Then it's about as good as it can get. Um, but like I said, if you're not willing to uh, invest in a high quality backup camera or you just not the money or you don't really have a need for one, I think this is an excellent product. I really do. I do think this has quite a bit of potential use as well. I mean, like if you're someone who backs in their garage uh, or need, who backs into a, a certain spot regularly where there's something behind you that you need to, uh, you're just trying to monitor and trying to make sure that you're, you're close and you're tired of checking and you're not always getting spot on. You know, if you make a, a habit of, you know, memorizing what line you stopped on or something like that, this could be very useful for that. Uh, and I think when used in conjunction with just normal everyday driving or whatever, backing up to a parking spot at the store, you know, if there's something behind you, whatever the case may be, um, you, you know, combined with your judgment, I think this could actually be a very, very viable tool and has quite a bit of uses for it. So uh, yeah, I definitely recommend the product. Um, if you guys are interested, I will leave the uh, link to this product down in the description. Um, if you are stopping in for the first time, I appreciate you guys stopping by. Go ahead and subscribe if you like that. I do have a 2010 Camaro SS that this channel is based around. Um, I know that wasn't really in, you know, included in this video, but it will be in uh, upcoming videos. Uh, leave a like. I'd really appreciate it. It helps me out. And if you want, go ahead and drop a comment. Let me know what you guys think of the, uh, the Fensons here, what your opinion is on it. Um, I think that's going to do it for this video, guys. So as always, thank you for stopping in and have a great day.